Hello, and welcome to yet another episode of Stories with Ian. I don't know why I feel like doing that. I just thought it looked cool. Um, let's get into the story. Today, we will be discovering the journey of a young magician who started playing with magic tricks as a hobby. Let me grab my wand. But soon learned that he possessed actual magic within him. Magic that he would need to save the world. But there's a twist. I'm not gonna be writing the story today. Instead, I will be using the magic of today's technology. Magic that I like to call AI. Remember those magic pens and books you used to see in movies and shows where they'd write their own story or a character would ask the magic pen or book a question and it would immediately know and write the answer down? Well, with today's technology, we can do just that and more. So without further ado, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's feed AI the plotline of our story. All right, so here's what I got. AI, please write me an eight to 10 minute long story about a kid who wants to be a magician that starts learning magic tricks, but realizes that the place where he bought his magic tricks from was haunted and from another dimension. He realizes this after one of the magic tricks opens a portal to hell and demons start to fall out of it. But something else also happens. After opening the portal, something in him opened up as well. His magic ability. He discovers this and goes off on a quest to save the world. And even meets a girl along the way. I just want to see what AI does with this information. At the end, he has to fight the Demon King. If you've seen my YouTube shorts, you know exactly who the Demon King is. Let me know in the comments if you've seen that YouTube short that I made about the Demon King and demons and whatever. Okay, back to the story. But does he win? I'll leave that for you to decide. AI. Now let's take this what I wrote and take it into the AI. I put it into the AI chat GPT thing to write me a story and now I'm gonna send it and let's see what happens. All right, let's do this together. So I gave it the plot line, it's my story, but AI is gonna write it for me. AI is my writer, that's crazy. Oh my God, it's writing the story. It's writing the story, it's writing the story. It's writing the story, oh my gosh, dude, look at that. Look at that, that's insane, that's insane. Oh my gosh, that is insane, it's so good. It even gave them a name, it, it gave them names. Oh my gosh, it gave them names, it, 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 it put mythical, mythical creatures in here. Oh my, harm, what? Y'all, I think this is gonna be a good story. It even titled it, it says Magical Quest Unleashed. Okay, everyone, grab your popcorn, grab your food, candy, whatever, snacks, just get something, everything, because the show is about to start. Let's go. The Magician, chapter one, written by Ian Boggs and AI. AI's title, Magical Quest Unleashed. Let's go. Once upon a time in the small town of Willowbrook, there lived a young boy named Oliver. Oliver. I don't know why I said it like that. Oliver was a dreamer with a wild imagination. He longed to become a great magician. His bedroom was adorned with posters of famous magicians. And he spent hours practicing sleight of hand tricks. Like this. Watch my thumb. Boop. Boop. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta get back to it. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't know I was a magician, huh? And perfecting his card tricks. One sunny afternoon, Oliver stumbled upon a tiny magic shop hidden amongst the bustling streets. I can't believe AI wrote this. Excitement surged through him as he entered the store, mesmerized by the shelves filled with colorful boxes containing mysterious tricks and illusions. The shopkeeper, an elderly man with twinkling eyes, introduced himself as Mr. Montgomery. I love these names, dude. Wow, it even got the names, like all the, every magic wizardry, whatever fantasy book has names that are so funny like this. Like. Am I right? Am I right? Am I oh, okay, I'm gonna get back to the story. Are you interested in the art of magic, young lad? Mr. Montgomery asked, noticing Oliver's awe-filled expression. The accent comes out sometimes, I'm sorry guys. Let me know if you like it, let me know in the comments. Oliver eagerly nodded and explained his dreams of becoming a magician. Mr. Montgomery smiled warmly and guided Oliver through the aisles, revealing secrets behind various tricks and recommending the perfect beginner's magic trick. Sometimes I can't do the accent. Little did Oliver know that his magic shop was no ordinary store. Unbeknownst to Mr. Montgomery, the shop was a gateway to a parallel dimension teeming with supernatural energies. It was a place where the otherworldly spirits roamed freely, their presence intertwined with the very fabric of the magical artifacts. This is good writing, I'm shocked. Armed with his newfound magic kit, Oliver returned home and began his practice. He diligently studied the instructions and honed his skills, unaware of the mystical powers concealed within the objects he now possessed. One evening, while performing a routine trick, Oliver's hands trembled, causing a mishap. With a flick of the wrist, he inadvertently opened a portal 
the depths of hell. A bone-chilling wind filled the room as grotesque demons began crawling out, their eyes burning with fury. Terrified yet quick thinking, Oliver realized that something within him had awakened, alongside the unleashed darkness. He instinctively summoned his newfound magical abilities, creating a protective barrier to shield himself from the encroaching menace. The demons recoiled, their snarls turning to desperate wails as they vanished back through the portal. Stunned and bewildered, Oliver came to understand that he had become a vessel of both light and shadow. Whoa, that's crazy. I was just thinking of doing a photo project like this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this might sound crazy, but I feel like I'm one with AI. Like I think at a certain point, I wanna be, become one with AI. Like I wanna be kind of an AI cyborg kind of thing. Like this is, this is like real life talking right now. This is kind of crazy. I was thinking about doing a photo project where I'm like light and shadow. It's like a day ago when I was at Disneyland with my mom. Okay, that, that was totally off topic, but this story is so good. Oh my gosh. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let me know in the comments. Bestowed with the power to manipulate the arcane forces that had permeated his being. Determined to save the world from further harm, Oliver embarked on a perilous quest to close the portal and banish the Demon King back to the internal realm. This is crazy. Wow. Along his journey, he encountered an extraordinary girl named Lily. It's so crazy how it, like chose names randomly for these characters. That's so cool. He possessed a mysterious aura and an innate connection to the supernatural. This is crazy because I literally just put aura in my notes for my editor. Hello, editor. Uh, we have a new editor to the channel. Welcome Cassidy. Everyone welcome Cassidy. Hello Cassidy, welcome. But I literally just put in my notes for, for this the editing of this video that like I want the music to match the aura of this video and it just put aura of Lily and my dog's name is Aura. What is going on guys? What is going on? This is crazy. Okay, back to the story. Oliver and Lily joined forces, their shared gifts intertwining as they faced formidable challenges together. They traversed treacherous, oh my gosh, this is a tongue twister, treacherous terrains and ventured into otherworldly realms encountering mythical creatures and battling powerful adversaries along the way. Their bond deepened as they discovered their shared destiny. Their fates entwined, not only in the quest to close the portal, but also in the emergence of a new era of magic. One where the forces of light and darkness could find balance and harmony. Finally, the day of reckoning arrived. Oliver and Lily stood before the Demon King, who towered over them, emanating an aura of malevolence. With hearts racing and magic crackling within their very souls, they engaged in an epic battle, their powers pushing the limits of their newfound abilities. The clash of light and darkness filled the air as Oliver and Lily fought valiantly, their determination fueled by love, friendship, and the undying hope that their sacrifices would save the world from destruction. Aw, they put love in there, that's so cool. In the decisive moment, when victory seemed within reach. Oh, we're getting to the part where AI decides whether they win or not. Oh my gosh, okay, it's crazy. Oliver unleashed a final surge of magic, channeling the combined strength of his own abilities and the unwavering support of those he held dear. The Demon King recoiled, unable, and it just ends. It just ends right there. It just ends right there. We gotta finish it, right? AI, please finish the story. It's so good. It always just ends the story like randomly. I did another video where I did the AI apocalypse. You guys can watch that video right here, AI apocalypse, after watching this one. Whoa, this is long. Oh my gosh. You ready? Chapter two, The Awakening. Unable to withstand the overwhelming force of Oliver's magic, with a deafening roar, the Demon King disintegrated, vanishing into the abyss from which he had emerged. Silence fell upon the battleground as the echoes of their victory resonated through the air. Oliver and Lily stood, their bodies weary, but their spirits elated. They had triumphed over darkness, fulfilling their destiny and preserving the delicate balance between worlds. The townspeople who had watched the battle unfold from afar emerged from their hiding places, their faces filled with awe and gratitude. Oliver and Lily had become heroes, their names whispered in reverence by all who had witnessed their incredible feats as days turned to weeks and weeks into months. Oliver and Lily dedicated themselves to the study of magic, honing their skills and exploring the limitless possibilities of their newfound powers. Together, they brought wonder and joy to the people of Willowbrook. 
I, I want to know how I chose this name. That's so cool. Performing awe-inspiring illusions and acts of enchantment that captivated audiences far and wide. But amidst their success, Oliver and Lily never forgot the lessons they had learned. They remained vigilant, always ready to defend their world against any threat that may arise. And through their continued adventures, I'm so out of it right now. Oh my gosh, this is, this is so wild. They discovered that magic was not simply a means to entertain. It was a force that could heal, inspire, and bring hope to those in need. What a good life lesson. What the heck? Okay, come on, give me something, give me something, give me something enticing. Yeah, give me something enticing, come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think it's turning into a love story. Years passed, and Oliver and Lily's bond grew stronger. They became inseparable, their love deepening. Oh, hold up, you're gonna like this? With every shared experience, a magical marvel. It literally says Marvel in here, that's so cool. Marvel fans, where you at? Let me know in the comments. Together, they created a legacy that would be remembered for generations to come. And as for the question of whether Oliver emerged victorious in his battle against the Demon King, is the Demon King still alive? Well, victory took on a different meaning for him. It wasn't merely about defeating the enemy, but about embracing the power within himself, so discovering his true potential and harnessing it for the greater good. Oh, okay. All right, all right, we're coming up, we're coming up. Oliver had won, not only against the forces of darkness, but also against his own doubts and fears. He had become the magician he had always aspired to be. And in doing so, he had saved not just the world, but also himself. And as so, as the sun set on their latest performance, Oliver and Lily stood side by side, their hearts aglow with pride and the knowledge that they had made a difference. With a twinkle in their eyes and magic coursing through their veins, they took a bow, their shared destiny forever entwined in a tale of bravery, friendship, and the limitless power of the human spirit. So interesting, AI always talks about how great humans are. Hmm, I wonder if that's in his code or if it's like sticking up to us. I'm not sure. It's pretty interesting though. And thus, their story continued, for magic never truly fades. It only evolves, waiting to be discovered by those who dare to dream. And fin. It's a pretty good story. Wow, that's crazy, y'all. Wow. I think I'm gonna go back to writing my own stories because <laughs> I think I low-key make a do a better job at writing my own stories. But this is very impressive for an AI robot artificial intelligence to write a story like this. That's so impressive. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want a part two because that's crazy. Remember to subscribe to be the first one to watch my videos whenever they come out. Hit that like button if this video gets to 100,000 likes. I'll make a part two. All right, I love y'all. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you in my next video. Watch this one for now. Peace. All right, I'm just gonna go stand over here. Uh, oh, my storm frame. No one's there, I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, I'm gonna come back, this is awkward. Uh, hey, how's it going? You still here? Watch my next video, this video right here. Yeah, all right, peace, love ya, see ya.